I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a weird situation at the moment where for ages I've just had like no job opportunities at all and all of a sudden loads are coming in at the moment there's kind of three main ones that are kind of on my radar and I'm basically weighing up the pros and cons of these different opportunities one's definitely more certain than the other two um, I would have to go through sort of an interview process two of them are like winter positions or I'd spend the winter in the med and one is one of the most ideal setups where it's dual season uh, this is on a 70 meter they're crossing over to the Caribbean pretty soon uh, they need like a windsurfing instructor that sort of ticks every single box I've got to the point now where I th like I'm so close to securing a job so I feel at this point it, it would take a lot for me to end up with nothing at all and honestly I'm, I'm happy to take whatever at the end of the day um, but so my, my first sort of choice would be to try and cross the Caribbean I think that's what I've always kind of wanted to do in the first place if that could happen that'd be great but then just getting my foot into the industry would be ideal anyway so I don't, I don't really mind wh uh, how it sort of comes about but so there and the third option uh, which I didn't really mention was staying in Monaco for the for the winter but that would be a permanent role that would roll over into the med season um, that's on a slightly I think on about 70 meter no it's a 60 67 meter boat um, and I wasn't 100% sure on that one but again that's just like another option if that will probably be my third option for me personally my third preference um, but yeah so it's it seems like through all this sort of hard work and applying and talking to different agencies and dot walking and this and this and this uh, I finally ended up with something a bit more concrete so for me I'm super happy I'm feeling really good at the moment and excited uh, for definitely the next couple of weeks to see how it pans out what I end up doing so what's happening right now is I'm going over to Cannes to have uh, a bit of a discussion slash interview uh, with this with the 50 meter that I've been sort of doing some day work on recently and I'm going to be just as open and honest with them as I possibly can about sort of my situation and the opportunities come in and see what they have to say. They might turn around and be like, well, you're either with us or you're not, in which case, if you're not, then see you later kind of thing. But I can't imagine they'd be like that, but I guess you just have to kind of like roll with the punches, see what they have to say uh, and kind of be respectful of whatever they decide. They might be also super open just uh, discussing it and the situation and it might turn out they don't really need me for another couple of weeks in which case they can just hold off and see where I'm at and kind of work together to do the best thing I, I just don't want to think for me you don't want to jump in like too quickly just because I'm trying to secure a place but at the same time it's like a bit of a balance really because at the same time I don't want to fend off or put everyone on hold and then everyone says we don't need you anymore so so yeah i think the best thing is just uh, to have a chat and see where where i stand with this boat and then moving forward work out what i want to do after okay so let me just preface this by saying I have absolutely no idea what I want to do. Um, I've got two main offers at the moment which I'm really keen on. So the 75 metre yacht that's going on charter, dual season, going over to the Caribbean. So on paper it sounds really good, but I've never met any of the crew. So I don't know exactly, I don't really know exactly what I'm going into. Obviously don't have that much hands-on experience with Actually working on a boat especially one of that size they're gonna need someone that's very full-on straight away which I don't mind getting stuck into and then the other option is staying here in Cannes on a 50 meter and I already know the crew and I'm really big fan of the um, I think he's the relief captain he's been sort of chatting to me at the moment give me some advice 
telling me how things are and at the moment I'm just sleeping under on the decision trying to work out what I'm actually being offered in um, on this other boat and then I can kind of compare the two but the I don't know what's stopping me from just jumping on this boat straight away this the 50 meter in can because everything seems really ideal and then I go into a charter season in in the med come come whenever they start March I think I mean the charter season's something that I want to do dual charters pretty full-on the Caribbean season and the med season back to back and I don't know if it's easier to burn out that way okay so I really need to work out like what's actually stopping me from working in Cannes and I think that's the problem I can't really think of anything there's no real negatives other than maybe it's probably a bit cold but it's not really a negative I always thought that like chasing money as well is probably a really bad idea long term so I get more money if I was on the uh, on the bigger boat on the 75 meter but it could be so full on I could really not enjoy it so in that case why, why would I choose something I didn't enjoy just for more money? It wouldn't, doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like I'm just verbalising this to make it more clear in my, my mind. This probably isn't any, of, any value to anyone watching this, but I'm just trying to process in my mind what the best route is going forward. I think I'm just going to sleep on it. I'm going to wait for any response back from the other boat. They might even just say that they're, they're not even looking for... Uh, and a deck hand with my lack of experience so that could make the decision a whole lot easier I think I'll just yeah sleep on it see what happens work out where my head's at tomorrow I'm working tomorrow on this boat in Cannes be in constant contact with them and see what they say but yeah I'm gonna sleep on it you know the, the thing is I've been looking for a job for so long now and now that I've come up with two I'm being offered sort of two really great positions it's it's really annoying yeah I feel like I really want to just just jump on the opportunity I, I just don't want to be left with no job I think that's the worst case scenario so it's almost like I should just jump on the boat and see where I stand there instead of trying to like get it perfect trying to get the ideal job at this point it's probably better just to stay just trying to get on on a boat and it's just staring me right in the face so why don't I just like why don't I just take it